Prepare yourself for tips, tricks, feedback, and much more on this episode of Pimp My Setup. Hosted by Matt Philly. Sit back, relax, and interact. Because the show starts now. <laughs> this episode of Pin Mic Setup is sponsored by Easy SMX. Check out their KT202 Hi Fi earphones available in two colors. They're lightweight and comfortable and come with a tangle free wire. Save 15% by using the coupon code on the screen now. To learn more and to purchase the KT202 earphones, click the link in the description. Hi guys, Matt Philly here. Welcome to Pin My Setup. I'm Ken Bone, and I can bone your girl. Okay, the jokes, the jokes are bad. Uh, we're gonna switch to this micro. Oh shit, Greg, stay where you are. Uh, all right. So, sorry about that. Just playing along with the joke, you know, doing the whole debate thing. If you don't know who Ken Bone is, then that's fine. Um, you know, it's all good. But anyways, let's get in to the setups. The first set of the day, submitted by Danny. Danny is. Twanewan, and he loves computers and technology, and this is his setup. And honestly, I think at first glance, you think cool, like bro, he's got LEDs, he's got his speakers mounted, that's pretty cool. But then the more you think about it, it's like, uh, is that really the best way to set this up? Uh, because the secondary monitor is flat, there's no turn to it really it's like very slightly rotated but the viewing angle is awful uh so he should just be having his one monitor dead center and then the other one really at like a 45 degree angle maybe not that crazy but around like 30 degrees or so uh off to the side it would make more sense uh otherwise i mean if you're going for the the side by side where you look towards the bezel, you gotta you gotta move things around. So I definitely think that looks a little bit odd. Uh, the speaker placement isn't the best. I mean, you don't need rear speakers. You do not need them, especially in the way you have it set up here. Get rid of the rear speakers, and if you wanna, you know, still keep them well mounted. I do think they should go lower. Uh, and then yeah, the you know the center one, you can have it up there. That's not the end of the world. But I do think. That they're off uh, a little bit too far and they're not angled at all. So, I mean, it's not awful. If you play it really loud, it's not going to make a big difference. But I think aesthetically is what uh, kind of makes me a little more. Because I look at this and I think that's cool, but they're so high up. So, not only for the actual sound, but I think aesthetically it should be changed around. Now, one thing that would be cool for your uh, your HTC Vive, which by the way is awesome, uh, you should get like one of those little. We've seen it before. People get those little banks where it's it's like a head. You don't have to get like a styrofoam head, but the one guy had Deadpool, Darth Vader, so on and so forth. And you actually just wrap the uh, the the Vive around it, so it's like you know a cool holder. But at the same time, instead of putting your headphones over the speakers, you can just put it over the actual head with the Vive, and it would look a lot cooler. Um, I don't think it looks that neat when it's on top of the speaker. Again, these things aren't the end of the world, but you submit to the show looking for feedback, and that's what I'll give you. Uh, everything else seems pretty good though in terms of usability. I mean, the iPad obviously it's not like. You're going to sit there and hit it at that angle. So I'm sure it's just there to be there. Uh, and then really theme is, oh, my God, Greg just committed suicide. But it's okay. Uh, I mean, everything else, though, I would say is, is pretty good. Uh, theme, though, is really where it's, it's going to lack points. So uh, usability, theme, and then just overall sort of like the, the setup, it's just lacking a little bit of love. I mean, it's definitely clean and all that. Uh, but I think once you move things around, once you get a theme going, this can go from to like damn so definitely work on that and uh, i look forward to seeing an updated photo down the road so let's go to the next setup next of the day submitted by tanner who's 13 he uses this setup for playing games and ah oh, god damn this makes me so sad um he broke his computer right because do we see a computer no all we see is his, re his sad reflection in the tv um, he broke his TV, not his TV, uh, he broke his computer, so all he has right now is the PlayStations, uh, I think, what is he got a PS3 and a PS4, and uh, that's about it. So he said, you know, he, he took full responsibility, too, so, you know, being 13, taking responsibility, that's good, man. I would just blame it on one of my brothers, but, um, yeah, I mean, 
you're going to get a computer. That's what you're working on. You also want to go to a monitor. That's what he was saying. He doesn't like using the TV. So uh, that's going to be awesome once you do that because you can use the left side of the desk primarily for console gaming. Um, probably not, though, because that's like the little edge pullout part of that IKEA desk. So uh, I'm sure you'll figure figure it out. But at least you could have one screen dedicated to console gaming and the other dedicated to your your actual PC. Now, don't break the next one, dude. Seriously, uh, he's got a lot of Al Alabama stuff, which I think is cool. But again, like placement of things, I just don't think makes sense. The jersey, like super cool. But why is it all the way off to the corner? Why isn't it dead center right above where the monitor is? Um, I, I think that was kind of a missed opportunity right there. But everything else is cool. The big flag, the banner, all that stuff. I like it. Uh, the left side, you know, you got a candle. So you're very sophisticated for a 13-year-old, which I thought was interesting. You got the controller stance, something a lot of people don't even have. Uh, and it's really, it's just a simple, straight-to-the-point kind of setup. There's not a lot to critique, especially knowing that your PC is broken. So uh, RIP, can we uh, get some respect in the chat for his uh, dead PC? Yeah, it's pretty sad. So uh, what did you even do? Do to your PC? How do you do you like how do you break it? Do you just like hammer it or what what do you do? Uh anyways, let's go to the next setup submitted by Alex. Now Alex is a lot older. Um, not that that's a bad thing, but he is a lot older than most of the people on today's episode. He's 35 years old. Um, so yeah, that's definitely a big difference. Uh, as you can tell, this is a dedicated room for just entertainment and, and things like that. Um, he, he said mainly he uses it for gaming, which I think is pretty cool. Now, I, I'm not a hardcore PC gamer, right? I, I play a little bit of Battlefield 1 lately, which is awesome, by the way. Um, you know, I, I dabble in a little bit of GTA shenanigans and sometimes Rocket League, but that's like the extent of my gaming. So I'm no CSGO pro, dude. Uh, so I want to know for people, because I know most of the people watching this show are insane gamers how is this layout for gaming because he's not directly in front of that main pc uh, uh in front of that main monitor i get it it is set he's got the the other one at an angle so the idea is there but does that look like comfortable i can't really tell um again this is his setup i'm sure if it wasn't comfortable uh he wouldn't be doing it so Interesting to say the least, but uh, cable management. I mean, uh, you need to give it a little bit of loving when you got the cable box, but it didn't like you know fix all the, the problems that you have. So, I would definitely look towards making that work a little bit better. Uh, you really have no excuse considering you can put a uh, Signum, uh, you could run the cable right up from the out of the PC right up to the board, and uh, it shouldn't be in line of sight at all. Uh, everything else is super clean, super nice. I love the countertops. That's like one of my new favorite things that everybody's doing. I think they're sexual on so many levels. And in the second photo, um, the entertainment setup is very nice, very clean. I like that you got the Heisenberg uh, photos up on the wall, but that's all you have. Now, I like that you got that gray, clean slate to go with, but uh, it's time to add a little bit to it and really make it yours. And I, I see what you're going for. You're going, I mean, you're 35. You're, you're not like, I'm going to put a picture of Elmo on the wall. Like, you're going for something that's a little more sophisticated, minimalistic, kind of like bing, bang, boom. And uh, I definitely think, you know, I, I, I see what you're doing. Maybe a shelf with some of your, your favorite little things. Um, but, you know, I, I don't know what else you're doing by the entertainment center set up if you're going to put leds behind it or whatnot otherwise i think the the photos are a little too high uh but i don't know how tall your ceilings are but then again i see the the fan right there i could see like the, the lights from it so i'm assuming it's not that high so i definitely think maybe move the photos down maybe put the photos elsewhere maybe like above the setup and then put a shelf above the entertainment setup i think uh that's your next part but everything else other than the cable management is pretty good and then let me know, guys, in the comments what you think about usability for being a gamer. So cool stuff there. Let's hop into the next setup submitted by Casper, who is 15. And this this kid, right, he didn't break his PC. He just doesn't have one. He has a laptop. So he uh, is planning a build for a gaming PC. Now, uh, we got this photo as well that shows his entertainment setup. And I mean, goddamn white all over the place. Can you imagine spilling like coffee and you're like, shit. Oh God. Ah, oh, God. I can't even imagine how bad that would be. Uh, and then the next photo I thought was very interesting because look at that. He's got like the, the crazy ass blinds that go down like projector screen style. Um, he's got I play I game. That's disgusting. I play in your bed. That's <laughs> what the, f okay. He's only 15. Well, obviously that's not 
So, oh, God. And then he's got fake hands over the... Oh, God. And a bomb? I don't know. That's a little weird to me. Um, cool idea, but it's definitely, like, uh, interesting. If you go back to the first photo, that your actual setup portion is like that. Now, I forget the name of that damn board, but it's like... It's not particle board. I, I was just looking at it yesterday too. It's it's just like you know it's cheaper. It's it's you know just a lot of different scrap material put together, and I'm making myself look stupid right now. But yeah, uh, I thought that was interesting. I'm not sure if I'm like a huge fan. I think it would work for some people, but for your room, it's like this white modern next level kind of stuff. Uh, like look at that. That's gorgeous. If you're into like literally minimalism, this is it. Um, but then you look at that and it's just like, it's not awful. It's not bad, but I just felt like, why didn't you take it to the next level? I, I, I don't know. Just weird to me. Uh, especially, you know, you got the poster on the floor. You didn't do anything with that. You have that one cable that goes right across, uh, from your, for your charger. And I understand, you know, bad placement of outlets, but, um, I don't know. It, it, for the setup itself, it, it's like very underwhelming. Uh, I like the posters, the cork board. I like the idea behind that. It's clean, outside, out of mind is great. Usability is great. But is it that wow factor? No, it's just a laptop for now, which there's nothing wrong with, uh, especially since you're going to be working on it. But I think the idea is once you have the PC and you have to get a monitor and you have to do things like that, that's where you're going to come into a lot of different problems, especially if that's your only outlet to the right side. So I'm very interested to see how you actually turn it into a functioning setup, not just uh, sort of like a, I'll put my laptop here when I'm home and I'll take it on the go. So uh, I want to know your thoughts down below in the chat. Tom, what do you think of that? Like that would look though. It just looks like it's unfinished. Yeah, right? That, I, like it should be white too, but he just hasn't gotten around to it. Yeah, he's like, oh, eventually. <laughs> yeah, no, I totally agree. So, uh, good, nice, but still needs a little bit of work. And you're working on it, so that's fine. So let's go to the next setup submitted by Ryan, who's 17. He uses this setup for coding and sometimes gaming. Uh, if you want to check out his work, RyanDilworth.com is the place to go. So taking a look at the photos we have here, we have this one, and then we have the further back. Um... Yeah, another setup that kind of looks like he just started. He, you know, ran to Ikea, got the, the cheap Linmon desk, and uh, that is like a really thin tabletop. I, I don't even know if that's a Linmon. Yeah, it looks like it. And, and I'm sure, 100% sure actually, that it's warping. Um, and if it's not like a big warp right now, it will be very soon, especially the more you add to it. But sort of what I saw here was... An attempt at cable management, but not the best execution, partially because you are going right out of the laptop, which is going to make life hard. Uh, we could see what you're working with there. And there's there's really no easy way to, to deal with those cables unless you have a docking station of uh, sorts. But if you go by that, that leg right there, you could see y you tried with one Velcro strap, it looks like, but you didn't finish the job. And the whole idea of using the Velcros along the leg is to actually not only A, hide those if you're looking front, like f dead on, um, but also it's a tight and it's one wrap, like literally just one thing of cables, not a spider web. Uh, you know, coming out of the monitors, that could also be fixed a little bit, you know, little things like that. But the thing I don't really understand is your speaker placement there because it's just like you're, <laughs> Literally, and I'm not trying to overuse that, literally covering the goddamn speaker. You can't tell me that if you slide it to the left a little so it's not blocked by the monitor, that it won't sound better. If you're telling me that that actually sounds good, then I need to slap you across the face. And uh, I, I, I don't know. For someone that's doing a lot of coding and gaming, you should be pretty smart. But the speaker placement there is awful. And then the lack of just life in this part of the room uh and then you go to the right and it's like oh oh okay he's got a tv and it's like that's cool but he's got that one cable that is way too short um very very short you're gonna have to buy an extended cable there and then get the wire mold and uh i don't know what the point is of putting the the tv there specifically i don't know what the rest of the room looks like it is okay so with the bed there i mean is the tv too high I'm, you know, I'm not sure. It's not the biggest TV in the world, so I don't know if it could be too high, but 
it just like the the chord alone. It's like help. It's like I'm being I'm being tugged on. Uh, it's just like just perfect. I mean, and he didn't even put it in the the top outlet. He put it in the bottom one. That's just cruel to the damn cable. But you know, speakers also look a little awkward there. I mean, not awful, but like just weird. Um, the whole room is just lacking love, and I think that's like every episode I do. It's like it's just lacking some like oh a little bit of love. Uh, so you know that little cut out in the wall too I, I know it was hard to work with is that a window I, okay that's a big ledge for it um an awkward kind of like cut i guess maybe maybe normally there's like molding around windows and stuff but it looks very deep maybe he's like in the basement i, I don't know but that's also underwhelming over there utilize that make it yours and uh, I'd like to see what you do with it, Ryan. But, yeah, go check him out, RyanDilworth.com. Okay. Yep, got that up. That was a big thing of mustache hair. All right, next set of the day. Submitted by John, who's 15. He plays a lot of CSGO and GTA 5. So, hmm, ah, nice. Yeah, you know, uh, I could do the same joke I do all the time. Grandma called. She wants her desk back. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um... Yeah, this is just your typical, like, it looks like it's in the living room or the kitchen sort of area of your house. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but when you're using a desk like that, you know, it. I think it takes away cool factor right off the bat. There are some people, I remember this one guy he had an insane desk that was like that, but stained a little bit more, worn a little bit more, and it had, like... He had like boats and pirate stuff and it was just like, holy crap, that fits. But here when you're trying to be like hip and cool and you got your gaming set up and you're playing CSGO with the bros, I mean, it's a little off. And I get it, maybe, uh, you know, you're 15, so you, you maybe can't get a new desk and that's all you got and you like having a million drawers, which I will give you that. That's some of the good things about these older desks. They had storage out the wazoo, which uh, a lot of desks don't have as much storage anymore, which is just, <laughs> it's just a crime, honestly. Um, but, Tom, does it take away from the cool factor? Yes, see, I just had to get... It's, it's so big and funky and all. <laughs> there you go, Tom Philly. And on top, it, there's like granite on top. I don't know what the hell that yeah, is. That's I, definitely in the desk. It's not like on top of the desk, like a flat, like a mouse mat or something. Yeah, I don't know what he's he's going for here, but the desk, it's got to go. I should do a series called It's Got to Go. And I just go through sets. I'm like... You go into someone's house and you literally just drag yeah. the desk outside. Yeah, and they don't even know I'm coming in there. They're like, who the hell are you? It's like, it's got to go. Yeah, Ken Bone, and then they'll be like, oh, it's okay, he's just Ken Bone. Um, you know, the PC I don't think would work up there uh, long term, and if you got a desk that had a little bit more opening in the leg room, you'd be able to fit it there, or uh, depending on the size of the desk, you could just put it to the side right before it peeks out into the hallway. Um, you know, really, the cable management, it, it's like, I'm not going to say it's amazing. You, you got lucky because this desk just hides it, so... Um, what really turned me off from thinking you did a good job was how you let it droop right there and also coming out of all the things on top. It's just kind of like all over the place. So really nothing special about this. And I hate to be like that, but take this from not to hot. Anyway, so let's go to the next setup submitted by Alex. Uh, Alex is uh, 16 years old and he does a YouTube channel called McAfee Gaming. Check him out. Uh, two photos here. We got the underside and then we got this photo. Now, this was an updated photo, I'm pretty sure, because I don't know why I would accept a photo where he's like, here's only part of my room. I'm not going to step back anymore because <laughs> I don't want you to see it. So, uh, yeah, we can't really tell right off the bat. I'm just going to get it out of the way. Uh, and sorry, it's raining like crazy outside. Um, theme. <laughs> I can't even tell. Even on your desk, there's nothing that really gives it away. Uh, and you have the, the graphics card box. Gotta go. <laughs> Gotta go. Get it out of here. Um, and then, you know, it, it's cool. You got the the gaming racing wheel, uh, which is nice. You know, one of those racing chairs and uh, all that fun stuff on there. But I think this comes down to one of those uh, situations where maybe your PC would be better on the uh, floor. Uh, down in the, If you look at the second photo where the trash can is. It might work there. If it's not that big of a case, then I think it would look better. And then that way you could at least uh, move the Xbox over so that it fills up that right side. And it will just it will look good. Um, but if not, that's fine. I can't really tell what else is going on in the room. I wish. What? No, I have a, 
this one I said shit and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's that's actually good. That's whoever came up with the the trash shit idea is kind of stupid. Um, but yeah, I think that especially in the first photo when you look at it, you see there's a big ass piece of furniture there to the left side. Uh, and because of that, I can't determine what you got going on in the rest of the room. So I'm uh, I'm pretty upset about that. But uh, I know Alex, y- you got it in you. What? 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 He has a, he has like white desk, white computer, white like cabinet. But then he has all black and red stuff. It's just confusing as hell. Like why doesn't he have a black desk? Or why doesn't he have white and red stuff? He's going. Hmm. It just looks really. Because he's not racist, Tom. Really. Crazy. He, he's not white now. It's like choose, choose white, that is, black, or red. And, not only that, and black or, um, look how uh, wrinkled the mouse pad is, and look how small it is. Yeah. I hate that. Why? Whoever sells those on Amazon needs to be kicked in the nutsack. And if they don't have a nutsack, we'll figure it out. But those are just a pathetic. Uh, I mean, that's a keyboard pad. And who needs a keyboard pad? The only time I recommend that is when you have an extended mouse pad because then you get a nice little soft cushion for your for your hands, really nice. Um, but uh, who, <sighs> done over it. Not don't even care. Let's go to the next setup submitted by Gleb. <laughs> I I, it said it in the email name too. So I don't know if Gleb's a real name, and I and I feel so bad because he's only 12, so I'm probably like really hurting his feelings. But I just like picture when you have the ketchup bottle, and it's near the end. It's like it's like Gleb, Gleb. Oh, just a Gleb, please. Anyways, sorry for hurting your feelings. I don't mean it, Gleb. Your setup is freaking dope and better than most of the people today. He uses his setup for school and gaming. Do good in school. Anyways, um. Yeah, okay, not a fan of keyboard trays, but here, I kind of think it's not the end of the world. Um, I don't like that the keyboard is like all the way to the left side, like really about to fall. He's like, I am so excited to play today. Uh, that's weird, and uh, the mouse is also like right right there off to the corner. So, it's because the mouse pad's so big, he has to keep it off to the side. Yeah, and that's the other thing. It's a, it's a keyboard tray, not a keyboard and mouse tray. Uh, which is why I hate it because the separation of the two peripherals right there is really annoying. But um, yeah, th- that part of it was weird. But if you look at the whole room, it's it's clean, it's nice. He's only twelve, so props there. Uh, the desk really isn't the most uh, spacious thing you've ever seen. If you look at the foot part of it, uh, and I think you can see it in the first photo too, like the way like it's got a cool little footrest shelf thing, but it's also really like weird because that's where your feet are supposed to go so the one side comes out the other side doesn't um that's where your pc is i don't know if that's the best spot because i can't really gauge what the the leg room is like uh but the shelf is there so there's no no problem with that but look at the speakers you see that they're not blocked they're just pointed pointed at them I mean, that's how you're supposed to do it, bro. I like it. Uh, I really do like what he's going for here. I like he's got storage to the right side. He's got his tablet, a fake plant because, you know, he's he's a sophisticated 12-year-old. And it's really it's just a nice, simple setup. He's got the taxi thing going on, which I thought was cool. Um, like I said, most people that aren't from America, they go for the taxi photo in New York City as like the trademark, that's what's cool photo. Um, but it is lacking a little bit of love to maybe on the left side there, uh, maybe like a, a visible theme other than taxi. <laughs> um, I mean, Jimmy Fallon's great in that movie, but I'm just kidding. I haven't seen that movie, but I know everyone always references Queen Latifah and Jimmy Why Fallon. Because Jimmy Fallon's in it. Well, you should have said Queen Latifah because she's a star of it. Is she the star of it? I'm pretty sure she is. Interesting. Um, all right. Well, let's go to the next end. Shall I add final setup of the day submitted by Andrew, who is 26 years old. He uses this setup for streaming, gaming, and video editing, and his YouTube channel is Bammer958. So if you want to check him out, that's how you do it. Uh, now, I wasn't able to get like a... I, I was kept trying to get a far back photo of this setup so that we could kind of see like you know really all the things going on here um but we could kind of paint the picture in these three photos that we have uh so first off i like that he's got different color leds going on kind of sets the mood which is nice i like that he has a dedicated spot uh for his his ultra wide right there and then to the other side is his other monitor i like when people separate that i'm going to assume the left side's more for uh, console gaming perhaps and then the because if he's trying to 
use because it's like the same logo uh, wallpaper and everything. So I don't know if he uses that for the same computer because I mean we see the mouse on it. Uh, well, actually, that's Tom's mouse. Huh? <laughs> um, so I mean I don't know. That would be weird if you were trying to utilize both at the same time. But I'm going to assume you don't because I I think that's what makes the most sense. Um, I love the TV above. I love that it's tilted down. Most TVs are never tilted down. Very, very good job there with tilting it. The wire mold, all that. He's got the Scarface, uh, Tony, Tony Montana. Okay, uh, I like that. I think that's cool. That's like you know something to fill empty space, but give it a little bit of a theme. And all the things that he has up there are pretty cool. Uh, you know the photo of him on a boat, and uh, you know his lava lamp and all that fun stuff. So that's cool. I like that. But, but. Big butts, and I cannot lie. If you go to the third photo, you can see that the wire management's not that good. Um, and it's it's like again, you got to paint the picture because if you go to the first photo, I know Tom's like, okay, man, make up your mind. Go to where the PC is. Oh hell no! That's just uh, you need to you need to yeah, the you know the Velcro thing. Do that. Because that's just, oh, God. But you try to hide it in the third photo. You go to that photo and you see he's kind of like, what you mean? My cable's good. They, they all adhere to the bottom. There might be a little few pieces hanging off here and there. But, I mean, look under where my ultra wide is. Because that's like, phew, that's clean. But it's like, nah, nah, my detective Sherlock Holmes shit tells me not. Um, but really though, uh, I'm just <laughs> messing around. There's only like a few things to really critique about this. So, um, everything else seems pretty damn good. It's I, again, I would like to have seen further back to really see what the rest of the room is like. Um, and I would like to know what the left side is primarily for, but, uh, considering he's doing, uh, streaming, gaming and video editing, I mean, the ultra wide is perfect for all that. And you know, the streaming, you can have that as a secondary display for chat. He can even use the TV above for all that stuff, monitoring it. I think it's really cool. So definitely check out his YouTube Bammer nine, five, eight, but now's the time for the scores. You ready T? All right. Danny with a 72 Tanner with a 78 Alex with a 74 Casper with a 76 Ryan with a 78 John with a 66 Alex with a 68 Gleb with a 82 and Andrew with an 86. There's two Alex's. I didn't even realize that until now. So hi, Alex and Alex. I like Alex more. <laughs> well, Alex, but the other one's named Alex. 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 Okay. Yeah, that was made up. Uh, <laughs> how about this? Uh, yeah, I like Alex more. Now I'd be like, which Alex? And I don't know. I don't know. What, he got 74, and the other one got a 68. So, damn. Yeah, I don't know. The other Alex is better. I like Alex. I, I like Alex, too. I think Alex is a good guy at heart. Alex you know, Deep down. Yeah, Alex. Uh, you, the Al you know which Alex I'm talking about. Alex, yeah. I like Alex. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this episode of Pin My Setup. And don't forget to vote. If, if you're old enough and you live in the right place and, and you signed up ahead of time and you looked into each candidate. And, okay. Thanks for watching. Derp Ken Bone Style. <laughs>